Tired of post-workout muscle pain? Welcome to your one-stop solution for all things recovery. We understand that nothing can be more frustrating than waking up the next day feeling like you've been hit by a truck. But don't worry, we've got you covered. This video will guide you through quick and effective strategies to conquer post-workout muscle soreness, helping you bounce back faster than ever. So stick around and let's dive into the world of swift recovery. Uh, first things first, what's muscle soreness anyway? Well, you know that achy, stiff feeling you get after a killer workout. That's muscle soreness. It's your body's way of saying, hey, you worked me hard and now I need some time to repair and grow. This is due to a process called muscle protein breakdown, where your body breaks down old or damaged muscle proteins to make room for new, stronger ones. Think of it like a renovation project, out with the old and in with the new. This process is a normal part of gaining strength and muscle, but it can leave you feeling a bit sore. The scientific term for this is delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS for short. So don't fret when you feel that post-workout ache, it's just your body getting stronger. Now that we understand what causes muscle soreness, let's explore how to combat it. Fighting muscle soreness doesn't have to be a long battle. Here are some quick strategies. First, stretching is your ally in the fight against muscle soreness. It improves flexibility, promotes blood flow, and can significantly reduce muscle tension. Remember, the key is to do it right. Stretch your muscles gently and hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. Next, consider a massage. Massaging your muscles after a workout can be extremely beneficial. This can be done using a foam roller or a massage gun. Massages help to break down knots that can limit mobility and cause discomfort. They also increase blood flow, which aids in recovery and reduces inflammation. Now let's talk about ice baths. They might be a bit uncomfortable, but they are incredibly effective. Cold therapy can help to reduce inflammation and speed up recovery. So after your next intense workout, consider taking a quick dip in some icy water. It might be a shock at first, but your muscles will thank you later. Rest is also a critical part of recovery. Your muscles need time to repair themselves after a workout, so make sure you're getting plenty of sleep and taking rest days in between intense training sessions. Don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It's when a lot of the magic happens. Lastly, hydration is key. Water helps to transport nutrients to your muscles, keeping them functioning properly. So don't forget to drink up before, during and after your workout. These strategies are your first line of defense against muscle pain but what you fuel your body with matters too. Stay tuned for our next segment where we will delve into the best nutrition tips for quick recovery. Scene script. You are what you eat, especially when it comes to recovery. Protein is the building block of muscle tissue. When you work out, you create tiny tears in your muscles. To repair and rebuild these muscles, your body needs protein. Aim to consume about 20 to 30 grams of protein after your workout. This can come from a variety of sources such as lean meats, eggs or a protein shake, but protein isn't the only ingredient for a speedy recovery. Your body also needs carbohydrates to replenish the energy stores in your muscles. Try to get a balance of protein and carbohydrates in your post-workout meal. This could be as simple as a chicken breast with some quinoa or a protein shake with a banana, now let's talk about hydration. Water is essential to all bodily functions, including muscle recovery. When you sweat during a workout, you lose water and electrolytes. Rehydrating after a workout helps restore fluid balance, regulate body temperature and support muscle recovery. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water before, during and after your workout. Don't forget about other key nutrients like vitamins and minerals. For example, vitamin C is known to reduce muscle soreness and inflammation, while magnesium supports muscle function and helps prevent cramps. Foods rich in these nutrients include citrus fruits for vitamin C and leafy greens for magnesium. Let's also not overlook the importance of omega-3 fatty acids, which are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Foods like fish, chia seeds and walnuts are excellent sources. Incorporating these nutritional elements into your diet can significantly improve your recovery time and reduce muscle soreness. But remember, it's not just about what you eat immediately after your workout. Your overall daily diet 
plays a significant role in your recovery and overall fitness. Remember, food is your fuel. But there's one more piece to the recovery puzzle. You'll need to pair your nutritional efforts with active recovery techniques, which we'll dive into next. So stay tuned. Sometimes the best way to recover is to keep moving. It may sound counterintuitive, but let me explain. Active recovery is a gentle exercise that focuses on moving the body and increasing blood flow to your muscles without putting them through the rigorous stress of your typical workout. Active recovery exercises are like a breath of fresh air for your muscles. They help in reducing muscle pain and enhancing flexibility. You see, when you work out, your muscles go through a lot of strain and stress. This is where active recovery comes in. It helps to relieve that stress by promoting blood circulation, which in turn delivers essential nutrients to your muscles, helping them repair and recover faster. Now you might be wondering, what are some examples of active recovery exercises? Well, it could be as simple as taking a brisk walk or cycling at a leisurely pace. These activities are low intensity and get your blood flowing without putting too much stress on your muscles. You could also try swimming, which is a great full body exercise that's gentle on your joints and muscles. Yoga and Pilates are also excellent for active recovery as they focus on balance, flexibility and controlled movements. But remember, the key to active recovery is moderation. These exercises should be done at a relaxed pace and shouldn't make you feel exhausted. Think of them as a way to keep your body moving on your rest days rather than an intense workout session. So, why should you incorporate active recovery into your routine? Well, apart from speeding up recovery and reducing muscle soreness, it also helps to improve your performance in the long run. It keeps your body flexible and agile and it can even help to prevent injuries. Active recovery is a game changer. Make it part of your routine and see the difference. It's like giving your body a well-deserved treat while still staying active and working towards your fitness goals. Remember, your body is your most precious asset and taking care of it should always be a priority. So the next time you feel the post-workout burn, don't just sit around, get moving and give your body the recovery it needs. So there you have it, your blueprint to beating post-workout muscle pain. We've demystified muscle soreness, offered rapid recovery strategies, shared nutrition hacks, and unveiled the power of active recovery. Now it's your turn to implement these strategies and bid farewell to muscle soreness. Share your experience with these hacks. We'd love to hear from you. Remember, pain is temporary, but strength is forever. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such empowering content. Until next time, keep pushing.